Savory Irish Stew Raw Vegan Recipe by Chris Kendall in the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. Time to eat my stew. Okay, let me talk a little bit about Chris Kendall's latest ebook. This is all new, this is brand new, and it is in the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle 2023, which you can only get between May 1st to May 11th. These, his ebook has low fat, oil free, raw vegan recipes, some sweet, some sweet and savory, and all freaking awesome. And uh, I can attest to that because I have tried out his pizza recipe. Um, I've tried out his um, quite a number of his recipes. There, there was a like a scallop potato, not a real potato, but yeah. And then I also previously made um, his. Uh, there's one with the mashed potatoes on top. Shepherd's pie, yeah, and that was really nice as well. So, I wanted to just show you a little bit of what you ex can expect when you um, get the ultimate raw vegan bundle. So this is the contents, yeah. And then um, I wanted to show you, he tells you about the tools of trades. Um, and then, yeah, I just wanted to show you what the stews are. I won't show you the, all the recipes. I'll just show you one recipe. Um, Chris has very kindly allowed me to make one of his um, recipes and also put up a public video for it. So, ooh. there is the my go-to stew, there is the great grapey stew, there is the sweet dilly bell, uh, sweet bok orange, uh, creamy orange bok, savory Irish stew, bountiful bok stew, um, Italian minestrone stew, Ethiopian lentil wort stew, whole, uh, holy hot pot, special chana masala, Mexican... There's a hearty Mexican stew, raw Thai curry, oops, raw Thai curry, um, raw Jamaican stew, real American gumbo, raw Greek stew, uh, bolognese ragu, super stroganoff, chunky pesto stew, pineapple teriyaki stew, tangy bit, and there's also some bonus recipes as well. So yeah, that's what you get um, from cravings busters sweet and savory stews by chris kendall yeah okay so let's start making this savory irish stew i have um three tomatoes i have celery i have green lentil sprouts and uh mung bean sprouts which i have sprouted uh chris will does he say it in the book? Let me try and see. I believe he does. Or maybe not. Um, ah, he does. He says I like to soak them for 8 to 12 hours. Rinse and then sprout for 24 to 26 hours. Rinsing two times a day. And then rinse back and freeze them for future use and a more cooked bean texture and taste. Ah, he freezes them as well. Interesting. Um... I've done that once or twice, but I like eating them. Uh, yeah, I like eating them mm, just fresh. I thought I bookmarked this. <laughs> now I need to scroll again for it. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to... Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here you go. No, I didn't bookmark it. No wonder. Let me try and book. Okay, okay. Um, we have mushrooms. Uh, I use less mushrooms because um, I don't know. I'm not a huge mushroom. I sometimes like mushrooms. Sometimes I don't. So it depends. I wasn't in the mood for huge mushrooms, and I don't have my a lot of mushrooms, so I just use that. Uh, one hundred and sixty grams. Um, and then carrots, one hundred and fifteen grams. So I have these carrots. Uh, I don't have parsnips, so I'm I have purple carrots, so I'm using those purple carrots instead. Um, I'm leaving out the onion. I have arugula. Yeah, that's my arugula. And then fifty grams as well. And then hemp seeds. So I have hemp seeds. Um, half a medjool date. 
It's my majode. Ah, that's the one thing I did not prepare. So that's my majode. Let me open it up. Take the pit out. Very, very important. Okay, and then uh, pitted raw black olives. I do not have raw black olives. Uh, no. Yeah. So I just used the, the olives that I could find, which were organic and not in, in oil. They were in water, so I'm quite happy with that. Hold on, let me just wear my gloves. Yeah, so these are the um, pitted olives. And then sun-dried tomatoes, half a uh, quarter cup, so I have sun-dried tomatoes here. Uh, one teaspoon garlic powder, rosemary, thyme, and parsley to taste. I don't have parsley though, so I'll just put that. Okay, let's see what he says. Um, this is, he says, a deliciously filling stew that really sticks to your ribs. <laughs> this reminds me of a classic country gravy-based stew. Direction, sprout, rinse, and if desired, freeze lentils at your desired sprout length. So I have sprouted them. And then um, these more mung beans. I have some lentils, but not a lot. Okay, pre-chop and freeze the carrots, parsnips, onions, and half of the celery the night before. So I did that. And then thaw together with the lentils in a big bowl. So um, I've thawed it. Yeah. I think maybe I'll put it in to the bowl first. Ooh, maybe I need a bigger bowl. Okay, I'm just gonna put in maybe like half and then, yeah. Some of it, not all of it. Oh, or maybe not because actually I can put it up above. Okay, I think it's fine. All right, and then uh, cube and dehydrate mushrooms for one hour. So that's what I did with this. Uh, I didn't really cube it, I just cut it. <laughs> And then now to make the stew, what do you call it? Stew sauce? Stew? Anyway, uh, blend tomatoes with the remaining celery, dead hemp, all this dried tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to put in the tomatoes first. Alright. Um... Yeah, I like to blend this first and make it into a liquid before I put anything else. Although, honestly, with the Vitamix, you can blend everything together, but I, I, I like to do that. So let me do that. I'm just going to blend this off camera. Yay, so that has been blended. And then, um... So the celery goes in and the dates go in, date go in, olives, uh, yeah. Sun dried tomatoes, okay. I need to put the hemp in, I haven't put the hemp in yet. So the hemp is, I believe it's one quarter. Yeah. Ah, I'm using. Oh, I want to say I'm using organic cube, but no, not this time. My ham, this time I got it from Dusun. Organic cube doesn't stock it anymore. Uh, okay, celery, date, ham, olives, sun dried tomato, and garlic powder. Let's put in the garlic powder. Garlic powder is one teaspoon, I believe. Yes. And then pulse in, so blend this first and then pulse in the arugula. I'm just gonna push this in a bit. If not, the hemp will just like fly everywhere in the blender. So the sun dried tomatoes and the olives should give the nice savory flavor. Okay, I'm going to go blend it in the blender.
paste this. Mm. Oh, nice and tomatoey. Pulse in arugula and herbs with this. Okay. Oh, let me put in the herbs first. Too bad I don't have parsley. Oh, I forgot to check if I have a... Um, what's a substitution for parsley? Anyway. Rosemary was new. I like a lot of rosemary. Uh, time. And let's put in the um, arugula. Fifty grams. Mr. Jazz Guitarist does not like arugula. I don't mind it. Yeah. It's expensive here though. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just didn't eat it because it was expensive, but yeah, I'm just gonna push it in because if not it'll never get blended here. Okay, we will pulse this. Sorry, I should have set up my Vitamix for you guys to see it. But this is my first video that I'm making for public, so yeah. No, not pulsed in yet. I'll blend it again. Okay, so I saw it coming up and down, so... Yeah. Okay. Yay. Ooh. Let's taste it again. Excited to... Ooh. Mmm. 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 I have want to say like if I put in some nutritional yeast, it would taste really good, but we're not doing nutritional yeast today, so yeah. Oh. Uh, mix together the contents of the bowl and serve. Oh! And this is 710 calories, I believe. Yeah, 710 calories. There's lots of calories in the... In the gravy. I'll eat all of this, but I might. I'll see whether I want to put in all yet. Only because I wanted to take some pictures, and if I put everything in, there'll be no space. Ooh, let's taste this. I sh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I think it'll go. The carrots are nice and sweet. I think it'll go well with the mushrooms. Okay, let's do this. These sprouts don't scare people. <laughs> so I didn't peel my carrots, so the carrots seem to like um Yeah last time I put a picture of my sprouts that I ate with spirulina that kind of scared people. <laughs> They're like what's that? Why does it look so gross? <laughs> Yeah, I need to mix it actually. Should mix it a bit. 
Oh, actually, that was quite nice. You know, if I put in like um, some edible flowers, it'll look really pretty. Yeah, I was half thinking of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just styling my food, guys. Um, <laughs> because I want to take pictures. But if not, just, you can just put everything in, mix it up, that's it. I do have some flowers. I think if we had some red, it would be really nice. I put some chili flakes on top. But I don't think Irish do has chili flakes. <laughs> oh, he had some. Ah, I should have saved the arugula and like have a little chiffonades of it here. Then they'll be really pretty. Hmm. Well, I do have some curry leaves. So. I hope Chris doesn't mind if I kind of like. <laughs> Put some curry leaves in his um, stew. Yeah, let's do that. Pluck some curry leaves from the garden today. And that would give it like really nice taste as well, actually. Okay, there you go. Um, that's the savory irish stew recipe from the ultimate raw vegan bundle <laughs> they look the same uh use my uh use my i want to say use my discount code so yeah check out the bundle using the link in my bio or link in the description if this is uh you're watching this on youtube or link in the comments if you're watching this on facebook and um uh, Remember to get it before May 1st. I also have my course and there are lots of other um, ebooks as well. Both on, uh, everything's all raw vegan. Recipes are all raw vegan. And, um, ooh, I need to, I should show you what are some of the, let me try and see if I can show you. Yeah. Okay, so. So there's uh, sweet and sour, sweet and savory stews. There's healthy gourmet raw vegan. I just made the um, breakfast out oh, the gourmet green smoothie room here is really nice. Smoothies and spice. I made two smoothies on from here. One of the grapefruit ones and a nice. It was I think it was called a nice smoothie. And I also made the um. There was one that was like tasted a bit like wine. But it has no alcohol. And it's just like wild blueberries and all that. Um, raw sweet face is also really cool by Debbie Adler, My Gentle Kitchen. This is Raw Food Romance's mom, so cute. And then uh, my good friend who who has um, written the Five Star Salad Re Revolution, um, Matt Bennett from Raw Intuition. Uh, hand salads, <laughs> this is Dr. Furman, that's not in the this bundle. Ooh. And then Make It Raw, there's also um, this is also really cool. I made some recipes from there. I made a strawberry fiesta recipe from there. That's the seven day chakra expansion. I want to start doing that as well. Uh, the dressing difference. This is from doctors, with Dr. Karen Dina and uh, yeah, Dr. Rick Dina. There's also next level pasta recipes. This is one that I find really super interesting because it's not just like your normal spaghetti marinara there's so many other uh, pasta recipes there as well and then oh this one is very cool because this is like super duper exclusive you won't be able to find this 
anywhere else it's only available in the bundle it's the appetizer um favorites is a collaboration so their recipes from uh, robigans all over the world um this is also another ebook i can't i can't read uh, fruity raw yeah miracle i think yeah fruity raw miracle and then you have uh following nature home raw classics i need to check this one out um seven day raw reset by emma this one's really cool i want to make her twix recipe um and then introduction to T dbt steels um i also like this one that's a course vegan from birth this is not it uh, yeah yep okay so um thanks so much for watching uh subscribe to my e-newsletter or subscribe sorry subscribe to my youtube channel if you're watching this on youtube and if you haven't done so if you like this uh comment below if you have any questions about the ultimate raw vegan bundle 2023 and i will answer them all right i'll see you in another one Bye bye